is the beep when it starts taking camera. Hi, my name is Mitch Musgrove with Motion Raceworks, here to show you how to put a manual brake conversion kit on your 98 to 88 Silverado. You're going to get your master cylinder, obviously, and with the strange ones, you're going to want to take this rod that comes in the strange master cylinder kit and take this piece of rubber that's on the rod, and you're going to need to take it off with a pick or something and put it onto the rod that we provide you. It's just a little piece of rubber to help retain the rod in the master cylinder. And you're also going to get the master cylinder or the kit to attach it to the firewall. It's a plate. It's got your rod end that goes onto your bushing. And that's a spot we'll have to drill a new uh, hole in the brake pedal to put get the right geometry for this. And then obviously your bolts too to just install it to the firewall and the master cylinder into these two holes. Not going to need many tools. Mostly a 15 millimeter socket to take most of the stuff apart. A swivel will help nicely to get the bolts off the firewall. And then you're going to need a screwdriver or some sort of pick to get a retaining clip off to get the electric switches off the brake pedal when you're removing the bolt to remove the brake pedal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the pedal, your brake pedal, actually out of the truck. Again, to drill for the bolt and the spacer that I said we were going to have to put in to get the correct geometry. So you're gonna to wanna to move the pedal all the way from the truck, and that is one 15 millimeter headed bolt that will come in, you'll stick a ratchet, I just have a ratchet and a long socket, and you'll come in up on the passenger side of the steering column, and there'll be a bolt there that goes right through the brake pedal, and you take that bolt out, and you're also gonna to have to remove the clip and the pin that attaches it to the current brake rod and also disconnect your brake switch so you don't pull on the wires when you go to pull it out. Yeah, now I'm in here trying with my screwdriver there's a little clip to take off to get to that just holds the brake rod onto its rod on the brake pedal. It's not a very convenient place to get to. It's hard to get a light up in here to see. Got the brake switch off of the pedal, and now I just got to get the 15 millimeter headed bolt out. So back down under. This is the bolt I was talking about to remove your pedal. Uh, it was actually an 18 millimeter head, not a 15. 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket. And then also, once you get your pedal out, and this is why we took it out, is this is where your regular brake pedal will go. And this hole that's just up here, it's not the right way to measure, but it's about 0.85 up from this bolt. The big thing is, is when you do this, is you're gonna put it two and an eighth down from the hinge point of the rod. Put it down there. I don't remember what exactly what size it was. About a three-eighths hole, two and an eighth down from your pivot point on the pedal. And then that's where in the kit this bolt with the spacer will go. And then this piece goes around the spacer and is trapped by the washers. And this attached to your brake rod going through this hole. Now that we got our brake pedal out, our hole drilled. Now we're going to take the master cylinder, the factory master cylinder off of the brake booster. It's just so when we take the four bolts off the brake booster we can slip it up and out of the way and don't have the whole assembly as one big heavy unit. And that will be actually 15 millimeter this time. 15 millimeter socket. And it's just these two bolts for your master cylinder. This is where too, obviously doing this 
brake lines would be off and it would totally remove the master cylinder but I'm leaving this hanging off to the side right now just so this vehicle can be moving around with brakes and I'm not ready to bleed the whole system yet but anyways now take your vacuum hose off oh, your brake booster Ooh, still held vacuum if that's even in there and now we go to the inside to take the four bolts that hold that to the firewall All right, got the four bolts off, or four nuts off, and now we can go to the front of the vehicle and pull our brake booster out, because we won't be needing that anymore. And yeah, this is just the four studs that the nuts went on. Yeah, and this would have been up in there like this. And this is that clip that I had to take with the screwdriver and you just gotta pick up the top side, bend it up, and then it slides over and comes out. Now, got a plate. And then these bolts, nuts, washers, are what will hold the plate to the firewall and the master cylinder to the plate. They're actually all threaded, but these you have to install first because they will be trapped by the firewall once the plate is mounted. Obviously, the hole goes at the top, as noted by the logo being upright. Okay, now I got the rubber piece off the other rod. I used, I don't know where the heck to put it, just a pick. Sometimes a small screwdriver or something will work to dig it off. And then to put it back onto the other rod, you just shove it on, and it's in the groove. And then when you put it in, there's a receiving groove in the master cylinder here too. Sitting down in the crack. There. Yeah, and now when you pull on it, it won't come off. And you can take your little cup. Push it down. Get it set. Take your brake plate. And that holds your cup on. And then, oh, back at the front of the truck. Got our little stainless washers, we have six of. Two for out here, two for inside the truck. And then we got the six locking nuts as well. Two for out here, four inside the truck. I guess installing the nuts right now so that I can get to the back side and hold the bolt in when I snug it up. All right, now we got our master cylinder assembly ready to go in the truck. I'm gonna go inside with my four washers and four lock nuts. And this is where it'll help to have a buddy around. Stick this right in to your holes. And this is where your buddy stays while you go inside and tighten the nuts up. Cause otherwise you're just gonna drop it out. Uh, now that we got the brake plate bolted to the firewall, now we're going to take the last few parts in our pack here. We got just the nut, the bolt and spacer, get it all out of the plastic, and our Willwood piece. This one little nut here, come on, is just the jam nut. It's going to go on your rod end that's in your master cylinder up under the dash. So you just thread this on, then thread this on. Keep it all loose so you can get it lined up right. And then you're gonna take this bolt 
and it is going to go in your hole that you made in your brake pedal like so oh, I forgot the washer too and the washers there is kind of a spacer to keep it off the brake pedal let me show once it was actually on it just goes like that Oops. Do that way. And that would be your brake end. Put the nut on this side, tighten her down, and this will go into your brake rod. So now we get to put the brake pedal back in. Now that the pedal's back in, a crucial thing when doing this is that you want the brake pedal to bottom out in the master cylinder. So you want the rod to bottom out before the pedal hits the actual firewall or floor. That's important because in the case you lose the front or rear brakes, the other chamber works better once the master cylinder is fully bottomed out. So you wanna make sure that you adjust the rod to the right length that it bottoms out in the master cylinder and you still have a little bit of gap between the pedal and the floor. And the last thing, when you go to hook up your brake lines to the master cylinder, you're going to want to take, and this is something you'll have to read, it varies between master cylinders and even the different bore sizes of master cylinders, so you have to read in your instructions which chamber has the larger volume. And in a factory brake setup, the larger volume is going to go to the front brakes, the smaller volume to the rear. Some of our lightweight drag setups we have where we run a single front piston brake and a or a single piston front brake and a dual piston rear brake, those you're going to want to flop and put the larger volume to the back because those calipers on the back have larger volume. And that's the basic install on the OBS manual brake conversion kit. Um, if you have any questions, comment below and we'll try to answer them as best we can or also can call our sales guys and tech line and get you sorted out.